Hi, this is Bob Bruns with the Link 4 Corporation, and today we're here to show you how the iDrive 300 from Link 4 Corporation electrically connects to the RW45 motor and gearbox from Ritter. We'll show you both the motor connections for power and the electrical connections for the low voltage limit assembly. The iDrive 300 is a reversing master motor controller. We call it a master because it has a 24 volt power supply. The reversing is done by the two motor contactors that are mechanically interlocked. We have a thermal overload to protect the motor. The circuit board has the open and close control. It has an open close light and limit light. The open and close light is green, the limit lights are red. We have safety jumpers which allow us to jumper out the secondary limits when we have a problem with our limits. We have our three wire limit connection, we have our motor connection, and we have our voltage selector wire which determines what input voltage will give the 24 volt AC out. We have a fuse for motor and load protection on the in input side of the line voltage. Over on the Ritter motor and gearbox, we have the motor connection assembly with the neutral, the open, and the close. We have the motor start capacitor. We have the limit assembly. This black assembly has both the primary and secondary limit for each direction. The terminal block for connecting the limits. And we have the tool for adjusting the limits. Now that we're ready to wire the iDrive 300, we have to answer a couple questions. One, what type of motor do we have? We know we have the RW45 from Ritter, which is a three-wire motor, 120 volt. So we have our connection wire for the transformer, which we must put into the 120 volt slot. Once we've done that, we can connect power to the motor and gearbox. We have the 120 volts the neutral, and the ground goes to a screw on the back plate. We then have our connections out to the motor. We have our neutral, we have direction one, we have direction two. Over for the, the uh, limit connections, we have a three wire connection. We have a white, a black, and a red wire. The white wire is going through from the iDrive 300, it will go through both secondary limit connections. The black wire is for our open, and the red wire is for our closed limit. Now we're going to collect, connect the low voltage limit wire from the iDrive 300 over to the RW45. Our white wire comes in, that's supplying 24 volts to the limit assembly. It comes in on number 12. It goes through the first secondary limit, it comes out on number 10 and jumpers over to number 6 where it goes through the second secondary limit and comes out on number 4. We then take our 24 volts and apply it to number 3 which is the direction 1 limit in this particular case for our open and then we come over and we also jumper it to number 7 which is direction number 2's limit in our particular instance close. Depending on the travel of the limits or shade curtain that you're working, you may have to reverse your open and close limits from 9 to 1. Now we're going to wire the power from the iDrive 300 to the Ritter RW45. We have the neutral wire which connects to the terminal closest to the limit assembly. We have the closed wire which for our motor direction connects to the uppermost connection or furthest away from the limit assembly. That will cause the motor to rotate in this direction. Our open will connect to the center terminal and will cause the motor to turn in this direction. The center terminal connects to the limit switch that goes across one and three on the limit terminal block and the this direction connects to 
7, and 9 on the terminal block for the limit switch assembly. That concludes the wiring of the Link 4 iDrive 300 to the Ritter RW45 120 volt 3 wire motor and gearbox. Should you need any assistance during the installation, you can contact us at 714-524-0004 or you can find us at link4corp.com.